Hey everyone, how you doing today? I'm going to take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. And got a lot of really, really cool creations uh, again. I see there's uh, been a lot of builders uh, playing around with Reforged Eden 2 as well. So I'm starting in Reforged Eden 2 and then I'm going to uh, have to go take a look at another creation in Reforged Eden 1 and the final creation in Vanilla. But we're starting here in RE2 right now. So the very first creation today is the Firefly Reforged Eden 2 by Entei. And this is a pretty cool looking SV miner, I gotta say. It's got a uh, a five drill setup on it, which is really unique. Um, it's kind of kind of fun to see the uh, creativity in this. I, I'm gonna have to uh, try this out too and see how it uh, mines here in a little bit. But awesome looking creation. Uh, love the uh, the detail and the styling of it. And uh, Ente always does an awesome job on this stuff. And it looks great, too. A lot of rust on it. And a really cool color scheme as well. Uh, doing some uh, different, uh, like some brown in there and some different greens and some grays and some, some darker grays and some color accents and texture lights and you name it. Uh, but this, yeah, this looks really awesome here. I'm just curious because it's kind of a wide body design for a, uh, a miner. Um, but the drill spacing is appropriate to uh, deal with that kind of thing. Just look at the front here, too. This is some really cool block work going around here, too. It kind of uh, the way the blocks are, it kind of looks like some big intakes. Uh, maybe, you know, to power up the jet engines, get some uh, fresh air in there or something like that. Uh, we've got a couple of spotlights on the side over here. Looks like we got some uh, some blinky lights. We'll definitely be looking at the P menu options as well. I did adjust one of those already. I did turn off the uh, the spotlights. I think uh, the, there's a P menu setting for that. But uh, yeah, this looks really 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 cool here. I'm very very curious on all these two on their specs and uh, especially with Reforged Eden 2 right now because I'm you know um, I think a lot of people are trying to learn how things are going to work. It is quite a bit different than Vanilla or Reforged Eden 1, uh, but uh, it's starting to make some sense and uh, starting to get a ballpark idea on what you can get away with, at least at lower tier creations. Now this one here I do believe is a tier 3 creation, or in other words, it's uh, got your main core and two basic CPU cores, bringing it to 9,000 CPU. In fact, let's look at some numbers here first, and then I'll uh, take this out and see how it mines here a second. Uh, so... Right off the gates here, we're unlocked level 15, uh, size class 1, 48 forward, 12 strafing, 39 lift, 39 reverse, 15 down, 2 fuel tanks, 1 oxygen tank. Uh, you got your 5 mechanical drills, you got 1 uh, Gatling turret and a detector on here. Uh, coming in at a uh, whopping 30 minute and 38 second build time. Again, very light build time on this too, um, as in needing strange things not much um it's going to need some aluminum powder that is a give me if you run any basic cpu cores in uh, at least an sv um it might, might, might carry true for any kind of creation too i'm not sure yet uh, a little bit of titanium a little bit of neo in in the build and some cobalt of course too for being a uh this tier of a uh, sv um yeah, really, really cool. Really, really cool. Let's uh, hold on. What what does it hold to? This is a uh, something I definitely want to know here. So we've got a uh, ammunition controller at 1250. We've got a harvest controller at 12,285. Wow, that's more than I thought. Well, I'll have to take a look at uh, its thrust power and all that stuff there. Um, and taxa tank in there, of course. Uh, and then we got some boxes and a fridge as well. Um, Let's take a look at some of these uh, areas here. Oh, we got it. Does this have a shield on it? Is that what I'm seeing here, or is that something else? No, that's a, that's a warp drive. Really? You got a warp drive on here? How'd you do that? <laughs> uh, I'll show you what I've been working on, too, and it's uh, the same tier range as this, and I don't have a warp drive, and I ran out of CPU. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out how you pulled that off. Uh, speaking of CPU on here, um, yeah, so uh, 9,000 CPU, it's running 18 over, which is uh, fine, um, honestly. That's not going to cause any issues whatsoever. Uh, yeah, look at that. So we do have area light, and we do have a front spotlight. We can probably turn that on, too, and uh, the P menu options here. But, yeah, this thing has a warp drive in it, so that means it must have a taxi tank, too. Hold on, we're going to look at some devices here. So we have a constructor aboard. 
Uh, it's a core three, so you got your two basic cores and your main core. Uh, for thrust, we're running uh, medium ion thrusters, it looks like, for up and a large ion thruster. Hmm. Interesting. Well, the CPU was obviously playing nice. I th maybe I overthrusted my uh, my creation I was working on here. This does have a gun on it, too. So we have a warp drive. Do we have a shield, though? Do we have a shield on here? Um, we do have a shield, too. Look at that. 4,054 on its shield. So a warp and a shield and five drills at a uh, uh, tier three with uh, a little over 12k of uh, harvest storage on it plus uh, you know a thousand ammo storage as well hold on all right so anyway let's uh here let me get the hood on here and obviously we got that turret going on here too but i i don't i'm not in uh survival right now to uh accurately show weights and volumes i just want to take a quick look at how this drills here and imagine you're going to get kind of a uh, big wide drill hole like that which is pretty cool um so yeah it does work fine uh with that that's interesting that is really interesting uh, one thing i want to check out too is the power setup on here i think that'd be kind of good to know as well we need to reset this for now and do, 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 do. where is a generator Okay, advanced small generator. One advanced small generator. So that, that, hold on. That is the one by three? Or do we just have, here, I'm going to fly in the hall a little bit more here. I was really surprised to see all the stuff in it, like a warp drive. Um, yeah, that's okay. So we got the one by three advanced small generator in here. Huh. And a shield and a warp drive. How did you do that with the CPU? I'm really, really confused with that much storage space, too. What do we got for, like, lift thrust? So we're running, looks like, four of the 1x2 thrusters for lift. Oh, we got a fridge down there, too. That's where that is. And, oh, there, there's the constructor chilling out over there. This is a O2 station right there. Interesting layout here. Um, and then we also had a uh, the harvest controller out back, so it's just running four, or actually two forward thrusters. Huh, interesting. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It's uh, again just trying to figure out how all this is coming together and working. Um, um, I've been having. I've been. I'll show you where I, I've been at with a very similar. Well, a, a, a totally different design creation, but. Uh, very similar specs, but I think I got a little more thrust on the other one, but uh, yeah, I could not get a, uh, and it does have a shield, but I could not get a warp drive or some other things going on and also ran into some power problems. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is really, really cool. Very nice. Now let me turn those spotlights back off again. Get a little frame right back here. <laughs> Um, and I'll turn off the, the the area light. So that's probably turning on these lights over here to uh, make it all kind of light up in the area. Hold on, I got to see what that looks like too. Anyway, it's a really really cool looking creation here, definitely. So yeah, it kind of lights up the uh, vicinity a little bit around it, even without the spotlights on. Very very cool. Wow, yeah, very very nice. Anyway, again, this is the Firefly Reforged Eden Two by Ente. Very, very cool. And again, I'm just studying all these uh, creations to see what uh, people are pulling off with uh, certain tier ranges of, uh, uh, especially SV miners, since I've been uh, really focused on that that category myself right now. Um, really interesting to see how it all comes out here. I'm going to turn off those other lights here too. Um, all right. Anyway, let's move on to the next creation here. And uh, let's see, this is another Reforged Eden 2 minor this is the q1s drifter re2 by oh man i don't i don't have it on my thing hold on i it's the uh the the, the, the ah, commander commander uh uh catron sorry about that somehow i didn't have that listed on my little sheet on the side here uh this is a, a really awesome looking miner i gotta say I, I i definitely like this one as well, I mean, the other miner is re really cool, too. So we're looking at some killer-looking miners here. 
Uh, so this is a four drill setup. Looks like it's running uh, four reverse uh, one by two thrusters. Uh, we got uh, we got a Gatling gun out in the front here. I love this uh, this cage or this uh, like roll bar kind of thing. Or I don't know, it just looks tough. It, it reminds me of uh, definitely something you would probably see in Star Citizen or something like that. Uh, great looking uh, styling on this too. I love the thin block outer uh, layer over it and the color changes and looks like we've got some neat things behind some doors here too so over here yeah we got a trauma station in here we got a uh, storage controller of one origin we'll look at that at the end there armor locker do i have my light on sorry about that i had my light on yeah what a nice looking miner i love it i love it uh on the other side over here looks like we've got uh o2 uh secondary uh controller probably for either ammo or harvest one of the two uh, a couple fridges in here as well some fuel and we got another door out the back as well so this is um yeah it looks like uh these generators in here yeah okay a couple one by two generators a couple fuel tanks right there and yeah, neat neat looking landing gear set up so they kind of recess landing gear in there and come down just fine let me get it off the ground a little bit to look at the bottom side uh, a bit here too yeah, very nice. So, thrust-wise, it looks like we're running six thrusters. I don't know if they're all one by twos. They might be. Or maybe this, these back ones are not. Gonna, yeah. Again, since you know, I'm actively building these things myself too. I'm uh, really studying. So I hope, hope, hope you don't mind all the studying of the creation here. It's all a learning experience, and um, it's kind of fun to do that. Oh man, we got a, yeah another compartment up top here. And uh, obviously, we're packing in a warp drive and a shield on this creation as well. Um, and we got a uh, two basics in our CPU core. Obviously, some extra room in here for things. But yeah, there's a shield right back there. And a warp drive. I assume it's got a pentaxa tank somewhere in there, too. Yeah, very nice. Nice layout. Nice design here. Let's, uh, since it's a mine, let's go, to, uh, let's go mine a hole somewhere here. I'm pretty sure it's going to work just fine. Um, I'm curious on its storage and things like that as well. So yeah, expect that. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice hole. <laughs> there we go. Mine's uh, it's gonna be mining great. Um, all right, so let's park this again and let's take a look at some numbers and see what it's doing for storage and shield strength and all that the shields have been uh, pretty much all coming out right around the same ballpark thing even on the uh the one i'll show you at the end of this reforged uh, eating two cycle here this uh, other prototype miner i started working on um trying to be the same tier as what uh, entes is and commanders is over here so uh although these both have more features than mine do, mine does and <laughs> so i'm a little jealous guys i'm really really jealous here all right, so anyway, let's look at some numbers here. So unlock level 15 again, complexity, well, size class 1. Uh, 42 forward, 28 strafing, 42 lift, 28 reverse, 28 down. Uh, four fuel tanks, four oxygen tanks. Uh, running uh, four, four drills, uh, one Gatling gun, a detector. Uh, 32 minute, 35 second build time. Very similar specs to uh, the last creation we just looked at as well. And all of them seem to be really coming out around the same for the miners that I've been looking at or building myself as well. CPU-wise, uh, again, 9,000 CPU. This one uh, is uh, 55 over. Again, it shouldn't cause any problems. you got about 100, I would say, for leeway before you would really cause any noticeable changes being over CPU. And it's it's hard to fit everything in CPU, um, little, little details and things like that, and really kind of mess you up like uh, going like 20 30 40 over uh very very easy to do on these creations here um but it's not it's not a catastrophic thing at all either so storage wise on this creation whoops let's get over to the drifter so we got uh ammo bay at uh, 3375 harvest controller at uh, 6250 so okay so yeah it looks like the harvest on this one's balanced out pretty good for the thrust that's on it um, of course, we got a little bit of stuff we mined with it in there, so that looks about right. 
and uh, two fridges on there as well. Um, Let's take a look at its uh, P menu stuff here. It's a shield again, 4289. Uh, with the uh, standard like SV shield and the hull blocks um, that most of these are made of. Uh, yeah, t a pretty typical number here on shield. I bet you it's pretty close to that of the shield that is on Ente's uh, creation as well. Um, yeah, so really, really close, right in the same ballpark area. It really comes down to how many blocks it's being used or, or are being used that are steel or better on the creation. So this, will, this probably has a little bit more steel blocks on it. It has a lot less storage on this one. But again, uh, hitting a warp drive and a shield on here. Um, and a nice four drill setup. I, again, on the visual styling of this too, this is a great looking miner. I really like it. Uh, it just looks, looks cool. Great. Uh, Great design for a four drill setup there. Man, is there anything else I can look at on this? Anyway, awesome work again here. This is the uh, Q1S Drifter RE2 by Commander Catron. Very, very cool uh, minor creation here. All right, so the next creation, we've got another ultra micro creation here by Artemis Rogue. This is the Atom uh, Reforged Eden 2. Um, and I believe this was designed for practically as low low of cost of a get around early game creation you can now this is a hv um I, no it's not no what this is not an hv this is also an sv i thought it was an hv because it has a lower i looked at this uh when i first bought it in it has a lower level unlock on it but you know it, it's not running mining drills that's why okay this this is starting to make a lot of sense here so obviously we got a uh the probably the smallest uh, uh, prefab style cockpit, sort of an internal cockpit that you could put on a creation in the game. And we got a core, we got a uh, single fuel tank, O2 tank detector, um, and then we got a generator on this side, and we've got a uh, uh, thrusters for forward and reverse right here. Um, and then there is a uh, your down thrust, and then we got uh, a lift thruster down over here. And it looks like our strafing thrust is uh, kind of one by one blocks, uh, also kind of facing in. So all, most of the thrusters, sort of the uh, lift thrust, are all kind of uh, lift and down thrust are kind of uh, hidden hidden away in there in the hull. But uh, yeah, again, yeah, this is. Uh, it looks like it, it's. I mean, with uh, a detector and stuff, I, I don't know if you could build anything cheaper than this. Uh, <laughs> Like cost-wise for gameplay, it looks very useful as well. Um, so, all right. So let's look at some numbers here. Um, unlock level five. I didn't think that was possible with an SV. So I just learned something myself. I uh, thought, you know, you would be a minimum of unlock level seven on an SV. I even thought this was seven. I th did I say it unlocked at seven when I uh, was reading this off? Well, I was wrong. It's five. Um, 41 forward, uh, 41 strafing, 41 left, 41 reverse, 40, 41 down. So very balanced thrust. It's got basically one one, one by one thruster in each uh, of the six directions there. As in the roll, that's weird. The roll's really low on this. Well, it's fine. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. But, man, it's really cranking on these other stats here. Uh, Y'all and pitch are, are really hitting it. Uh, now obviously CPU it's hardly using any of the uh, tier tier one CPU on this build as well um, but yeah look at look, look at our build time here uh, three minute and seven second build time the most basic of the basic resources you get in the game uh, pretty much um, yeah <laughs> cute it, yeah it certainly looks like it would uh, perform uh, well um, and unlocks at player level five. Uh, this beats the crap out of any uh, motorbike you'll ever come across uh, in the game, and it's it's super super inexpensive. So I can definitely see this as a um, you know as soon as you hit level five, get this puppy in, and you'll be able to uh, get around a whole lot better from there on. And not to mention, I mean, I guess if you want to try to soup this up, you could. Uh, maybe add some more stuff to it but i mean I, again it's just for a uh, very low level uh transportation exploration scoping uh, scoping out the lands kind of thing seeing what, where everything's going at and it's a whole lot easier than walking or taking a motorbike around 
uh, for the cost. It's well worth the it's well worth the investment, I would say. So uh, just a quick uh, fly around here, and yeah, it uh, flies fine. Actually, I'm kind of glad it doesn't have the roll being uh, psychotic, and then you'd, it makes it really hard to control on such a small creation. So it actually feels a lot smoother than I thought it would feel. Um, so that's that's cool too. Um, never know, never know. Anyway, again, very very cool creation here. This is the Atom by Artemis Rogue. Uh, you know what I forgot to look at? Hold on, hold on. There's more specs. Um, it's so tiny. I just maybe I just assumed it didn't have much in specs on it, and I didn't think. Yeah, like I didn't think it had any storage in there. There's there's no blocks for it. I mean, literally. Um, so it's just to get around. Uh, no no guns. No no shield. No no warp drive. It could have a warp drive. I mean, if you cut away the entire cockpit. And just laid a big warp drive there. I mean, maybe you could get that to work, but it's it's practically bigger than the entire creation. Anyway, very very cool again. Uh, the Adam by Artemis Rogue. So the next creation here. This is uh, again uh, Reforged Eden 2. So this one's going up a different line here. This is a uh, higher end combat oriented CV in RE2 here. This is the uh, the SVA. Uh, oh, I'm going to screw up this name. Is is Vogel by oh scout oh here I'll just I'll it, it is uh, the name of this is the here let me get the HUD on um, that is the name oh there it is uh, the S S C A E I S V O G E L I've never heard that word before so that that is new and it's by author uh, S K A W U S C H A or Scars Gosh, gosh, oh, I can't say it. I, I just totally cannot say it. Apologize for that. Um, if anybody knows a good pronunciation, I'll, I'll try to get it, get, get it right here. But uh, anyway, this this looks like a really, really interesting combat-oriented ship here. I kind of like the uh, the general styling of it and everything like that. It's uh, kind of this big open platform here, a whole lot of... Uh, Big, really cool-looking guns out front here. Do I got here? Um, and then you got kind of these uh, these uh, thruster enclosures out on the sides over here, which also is really cool. I expected to see a thruster in there. Oh, it's actually up over here. Interesting. So this this has a forward thruster in it, but it does not actually have the reverse thrust, at least right now. Maybe that's uh, an upgrade option. Uh, for for later on or something like that. Okay, so we do have some uh, uh, thrusters back over there. We're, we are running a bunch of this kind of gun here. What are these main plasma batteries? Heavy. Uh, that looks menacing. Um, yeah. So all the wow, that 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 looks like it would uh, cause some serious problems to whatever it's uh, fighting. <laughs> And we got a whole barrage of turrets all across the uh, the top side here too. So yeah, definitely a definitely a combat oriented ship here. Really cool design, uh, unique design on this one. Um, kind of a wide body too. And then we got looks like our bridge is kind of right up in the center there. Oh wow, what is that? It's always a learning experience. There's so many other things to get involved in in Reforged Eden 2, and I've only touched the. Uh, the surface just kind of messing with one kind of creation so far at low tier but this is a, uh, a long-range radar interesting so yeah different model for that um, I think the existing long-range radars are still there in the game as well but this is a uh, maybe a better alternative uh, version of uh, long-range radar it looks a little bigger but maybe it's not maybe it's the same physical size really cool uh, how the author uh, displayed it on this creation though it literally kind of built out this whole area to to hold that uh, radar dish in there and it looks really really cool the way it was done also like the, the color uh, differences on this as well is figgle is it the is 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 fuggle Vogel? ah I'll shut up with that um, got some uh, sentry guns out on the uh, sides here a strafing thrust uh, looks like it's some cool antennas and things like that yeah really interesting build here I like the glass work on the front there you got a spotlight in there as well 
Let's get down on, on the underside here and see what's going on. Yeah, cool. It kind of, for some reason, it also kind of has like that Star Trek uh, vibe a little bit. Like maybe something you could see in Star Trek, but a bit of a stretch. It's not really following the, uh, the straight up Star Trek design necessarily, but yeah, I don't know. It just kind of looks like it could kind of fit one way or another into the Star Trek verse a little bit here. Anyway, okay, so let's uh, let's find a way on board here. Don't know how much interior space this is going to have. It really looks like it's very dedicated for uh, combat role. Um, trying to see if there's a way in from down here somewhere. Didn't see anything. Uh, what about up top? Uh, I'm sure there's multiple ways in. Sometimes they're really discreet on these uh, on these builds, though. A little. Uh, way in or a door here or i probably flew past it everybody's like screaming at the screen it's like you idiot it's right over there uh da, da, da. well i'm gonna cheat i'm gonna backtrack i'm gonna go into the bridge and then we'll backtrack out of the bridge oh duh look at that right up in front there yeah it's not even very discreet it's just right there okay never mind i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cheat here i'm gonna get out of god mode here um uh, we'll take a walk in here let me uh alter the lights i don't again i don't know if there's uh much interior on this or not there probably is more than you think uh tends to be the case on a lot of these builds here okay so we are out of god mode so cool looking bridge so up here in the bridge we've got some utility function got an armor locker and wi-fi and a box and a uh, o2 station uh right in here uh, obviously the elevator keeps on going down we've got some side rooms out here oh falling off the edge there uh, this goes into, looks like, oh, a medical bay over here. Oh, sneaky, that's cool. Kind of like the style in here. We got some blast doors right over here, and that's where a warp drive is. Very cool, very cool. So, yeah, and we got the shower right below there. Nice, didn't expect that. So, yeah, it's uh, very convenient, too, right off from the, uh, the main bridge. Nice and quick to get healed up. And then on the other side here... We've got, oh my goodness, we got a fusion reactor in here. This is the smaller fusion reactor, so this is the uh, the 3x3 three three one. And it looks like we also are running uh, some medium shield parts. I, uh, I want to make sure that's a, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, that is shield part. Um, I know there's turbines too, and they look kind of similar, but they're a little different than the shield parts. we got a, a large shield part in here too. Wow, okay, so we're running some shielding. We have a... Uh, uh, the tough glass kind of surrounding the uh, the fusion reactor uh, to limit its uh, explosion radius. We also have a uh, looks like an advanced constructor chilling on over here. Um, very cool, very cool. And then of course, like blast doors, there's probably a P menu option to shut these uh, blast doors in probably some kind of combat mode. I would not doubt. We'll look at that here in a bit too. Um, and then down, it looks like we got a way in. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I went a little too far there. But, uh, yeah, we got a way in from the bottom side right there as well. Get the light back on. I'm thinking I'm, oh, I'm flying inside the radar dish here. Um, I think that is it for the interior. I'll do a quick uh, pass through on the hall over here. But I think this is going to be pretty much filled in with uh, parts and stuff. Um, but, no, wait. No, there's more interior areas. Hold on. Let me backtrack from here. So we've got, yeah, this is some uh, some other space here with some storage. There's our shield. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry about that. I missed a corridor. Oh, it was right off from the uh, the room. I didn't go that way last time. All right. Note to self, uh, there is more to the ship. So our shield. Got a ladder going up there. we got another way. Uh, where does this go? Okay, this is another entry door. A bunch of them. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of different ways in and out of the ship. Sneaky, sneaky ways. Again, uh, looks like it's going to have a complete, like, interior blast door protection setup going on here. Um, let's go up the elevator, or the, uh, maybe not. Eh, well, there is a little table up there, and it looks like we've got kind of the top of the blast door there. So here, I'm going to do one last thing here. I'm going to run over to the other side of the ship, turn off the, uh, the 
light there and I want to see if I miss some more things off from this side too. No, I think I, th I think we did see this side. Okay. All right. Anyway, now I'm really curious. Um, this is obviously running a lot of high-end parts on it, so uh, it's going to be a completely different CPU bracket than the other creations we've been looking at. Uh, so let's take a look at some numbers here. Um, start with unlock level 25, size class 2, 65 forward, 33 strafing, 65 lift, 65 reverse, and 65 down. Eight fuel tanks, two oxygen tanks, uh, 12 hours, and 16 minute build time. Does use a fair amount of estrium and zacosium and parts like that. Uh, quite a lot of quantum processors in here. Um, again, this is a pretty high end um, uh, combat oriented CV. So uh, it does need some large auxiliary cores. We'll, we'll take a look at the devices here in a second, too. A uh, huge barrage of different weapons. A lot of uh, mediums, and in one case I thought we had a heavy, but yeah, and then main, uh, these main plasma batteries, uh, heavy, they're, they're pretty mean. Actually, maybe, uh, yeah, it looks like it was only six and not 12 of them, though, so maybe they just are, uh, they look that way right off the gates. They look really cool, by the way. Um, so yeah, very cool there. Let's take a look at your storage. So we've got an ammo controller at 320k. Um... Got another uh, main controller here at 504k, and beyond that looks like a box, pentaxid tank. Uh, we got our like our repair station. Um, yeah. So, all right. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's look at the CPU here. So okay. So uh, and devices. So the CPU is certainly balanced out for reforging two. Got just a little bit left over here, but I'm really curious. Ah. Okay. Okay. So. It is running a Core 9 setup to start with. So that would be uh, two basic, two improved, two advanced, and two superior cores. Beyond that, it's running, uh, looks like, uh, three large auxiliary CPU cores and two CPU extenders uh, in the quantum range on it to get the CPU uh, all balanced out with all this guns and stuff on it. So um, shield-wise, uh, 65,637 shield on it stock um yeah so you, you can definitely build a uh pretty high-end uh, combat ship here um in re2 um of course you know like like this one looks like it's just gonna have a lot of uh nasty nasty firepower and these are like this is this is one part here i kept on looking at these thinking that it was like a, a right and left of each one of these but no that is just one gun so there's six of these guns um, not what I thought it was uh, originally. Um, yeah, it looks like it would be pretty uh, pretty fun to use this, though, for sure. Um, definitely, uh, again, designed to blow up your uh, enemies and take over the galaxy. So, <laughs> very, very cool build here. Um, moves good, too. So, yeah, awesome, awesome work here. I'm really curious. I'd like to see uh, some of this stuff, uh, blowing stuff up in game someday. That would be, be really neat. So again, this is a hard to pronounce for me ship, but the SCA is is Vogel by uh, Skull. Man, I'm so sorry. By it's by S K A W U S C H A, um, and I don't know how to say that correctly. I really don't. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. I just don't know. I've never seen the word in my life before or anything like it. Really. Um, very 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 cool creation um again all right so the next one in reforged in tier uh two this is the uh check catcha uh and uh c-h-a-t-c-h-k-a uh and this is by author shandrill um so this uh a little bit different take on things this is a much smaller cv uh, also looks like it has a uh, uh, tendency to be about combat here. So we've got uh, quite a few weapons on here. And I think most of these are real guns too and not antennas or something like that. Real small design here. I like the uh, nice uh, visible cockpit right up front there. But yeah, it really looks like it's just straight up about blowing up some stuff um, at, a, uh, at a, a much smaller uh, tier than the, uh, the last creation that we're look, uh, we just looked at. 
Yeah, nice smooth body design on it. Nice uh, roundy parts everywhere. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, some turrets and quite a few launch style uh, guns. And then you've got a lot of these uh, sentry guns in there probably to shoot out the drones and things like that. I think that this does seem to be the weapon of choice for drone takedown on a CV. You can't put those on SVs though, or HVs, uh, just a CV or uh, base part. But yeah, it looks really, really cool. It looks about very to the point on this one. Then we got a, uh, looks like we got a door on the uh, backside there. I don't know if there's more. Um, in fact, I don't think there's any going to be much interior at all on this. Uh, yeah, just just straight up, right up, up into the uh, very clean carpeted, uh, fancy glass cockpit here. Uh, with a lot of visibility here. That looks really cool the way it's set up, though. You get some pretty neat-looking shadows going on there that actually looks like it's painted with uh, several different, like, gray colors and nice trim, but it's really just kind of like looking at the light through the glass. But that makes a really nice-looking trim um, around there just without... Yeah, it kind of does similar on the bottom side there, too. That's that's cool. It's just neat-looking neat, neat shadowing going on here. we got a ventilator in this area, of course. Looks like a sensor... Um, and let me just fly on inside the hull a little bit, uh, see what is happening here. And you know, something that just dawned on me, I did not look at, like, the hull materials of those last creations. Kind of curious about that. So what, okay, so what do we got, what's this thing? What is this part? Um, oh, okay, so that, oh, compact shield, okay. Okay, so we do have a compact shield pentaxa tank in here. Um, there's actually an internal box. Uh, wow, is, is that a small constructor? We got a, I think so. Yeah, I think it's a small constructor, Wi Fi, a detector. And it kind of looks like there's a little bit of extra room in here for, you know, some future upgrade parts or something like that as well. Uh, steel on the, or I'm sorry, the hull on this one looks like it is mixed. Uh, we're seeing some hardened steel and some uh, carbon. Depending on, you know, probably what it's trying to protect. I wouldn't doubt it's more... Uh, I did see hard... Yeah, it was hardened steel back over here. So there's probably like a layer of hardened steel in there to kind of protect the interior um, beyond the gun position before it gets in there. But then some other blocks were, you know, trying to keep the weight down uh, using carbon instead. All right. So, all right, let's look at some numbers here. So, unlock level 15. So, oh, I'm not trying to push it. Um, yeah, size class 0. 0.5. 38 forward, 19 strafing, 43 lift, 38 reverse, 38 down. Two fuel tanks, one oxygen tank. Uh, two hour and two minute build time on this one. does need a little bit of uh, estrum and zacosium. Um, you'd expect that, though, with guns and weapons on a CV. Kind of, yeah, it's pretty much unavoidable. Uh, uh, some aluminum powder in there. CPU wise, it is a wow. I hold on, just yeah, confirming it is a um, uh, tier one, tier one uh, combat CV here. So that's really cool. So it's got about 50, eh, not quite 15,000 leftover CPU on it, but yeah, so with uh, the thrust and everything that's on here and the weapon loadout, this can be done at basically a starter. CV type uh, without any additional basic CPU cores or anything going on in there. Um, that's cool. And it did have a shield as well. Speaking of that, let's take a look at your shield strength. Uh, so 6,244 on shield strength. Yeah, tier one. I, I thought it was going to be more than that. I really did. I didn't. I thought it was going to be maybe like a tier three. Um, but no, this is a tier one. So yeah, really, really cool. Gets around. Uh, moves moves decently. Uh, let's see what it's got for storage. So we got an ammo controller at 40k, and I think that's it. I think that's it on this one. So in a box, a box. Um, but uh, yeah. So it, again, just uh, like uh, dedicated for a very specific task, and not trying to be like a base ship or anything like that. It's just blow up stuff. It's got a shield. It's got some guns. Let's hit it. Uh, and that's uh, that is pretty much. What it is about, and uh, really surprised it came out at a tier one. But that's good to know. It's good to know you can do this kind of thing in a tier one uh, range on a uh, CV. Um, you can get some weapons on there. Obviously, you got to be pretty uh, 
pretty cheap with a thrust. You can't go throwing on giant thrusters and things like that all over the place. Um, but, uh, yeah, for what it's for, it uh, looks like it's really uh, well thought out there. So, again, this is the, uh, oh, God, this is the check. Ah, ah, people, people and their names, just call everything like the. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, this is the Chat Chicka by Shandrill. Um, I totally screwed the name up, but very, very cool build again. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, uh. Uh, really cool to see this stuff. It's uh, pretty exciting, actually. Uh, if you've been building for a while and kind of getting a little bored with the old run-of-the-mill building now, there's a whole lot of new new kind of things you can uh, R&D out and figure out how everything's going to work and, and building uh, these new creations for uh, Reforged Eden 2 now, which is really, really cool. All right, so I'm going to get out of uh, this. Oh, man, I jumped the gun on that. Let me get right back into that. I wanted to show you one last thing. Uh, sorry about that. My apologies. Um, I had a, I had spawned um, another prototype miner. I've been kind of messing with myself, and it, and it works. But I, I like the other miners. I looked at better <laughs> uh, in here, just just to, just to be uh, solid with that. Um, they actually have a little bit more features. Um, but um, I did a extensive testing on the miner that I do have over here. Where did I put that? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this this one here is uh, obviously I didn't really finish off the interior or anything like that yet. Just trying to get it uh, operational. Um, but this is a tier three uh, SV miner again. Um, it's decent. It's it's got some pretty good thrust on it. It's running some of these uh, one by three uh, thrusters, like four of them going in reverse um, and four of them going forward. And it's actually running four of those one by three thrusters for lift. It does have a shield in it and Pentaxid tank, but it does not do warp. Um, it's running a 12K main storage bay on it and a 1K uh, ammo bay on it. And then also it's just sporting this single Gatling gun up here um, and a, a single 1x3 generator in it. Uh, so spec-wise, this is a, a, you know, let me sort this. Uh, it is a core 3, so it's running two basic CPU cores in the build. Um, it is pretty, uh, thrusty. Oh, wait, do I have any fuel in here? Probably not. Yeah, let's get some fuel in there. Um, CPU-wise, it's, uh, right up there, uh, just under 9,000 right now. And granted, it needs more parts in it, like, uh, utility function stuff in, in on the interior. So, not sure exactly how that's going to come out. Um, motion-wise, it is, uh, uh, gets around pretty good. Uh, 95 forward, 35 strafing. 95 lift, 95 reverse, 18 down. So I really, uh, really scrimped on the down thrust on it. But other than that, it's a pretty, pretty quick creation um, getting around. And uh, what I found is uh, in survival drilling with this one, um, and I can fully fill up the uh, the store, the uh, harvest bay on it with like Neo or something like that. So full 12k plus plus the ammo. It does get around uh, pretty good moving that that cargo around. Um, so. Uh, would I rate it as high gravity? No. Um, it does reduce the stats a lot, but it did get around good. But a big side effect, what I ran into, which is really blowing it for me on this design, is uh, like charging the shield, three-direction flight, while mining, when, when you uh, don't have much cargo in there, no power problems whatsoever. Um, everything's cool. It never really gets much above 50% in power usage, and that's actively while charging the shield. Um once it gets a full load in it, 12K, and I try to fly somewhere, it's like constantly going over 100% on the power. Um, like, uh, unless you're just flying in a straight line, but if you're trying to turn or do anything else or do any maneuvering or, or uh, use your drills at the same time while flying with a full load, it's, uh, it just keeps on um, overdoing the power generation. Like, it uses twice as much power uh, with a full load than it would with, with no cargo in it. Um, so that's really throwing me for the loop. So the only way I can fix that is to increase its power or reduce its thrust. Uh, so I, I played around with reducing its thrust by removing half of the strafing thrusters on here. Um, and I actually replaced like a couple of the uh, uh, thrusters on the other directions with smaller ones. And then, then it could be all right without um, um, overtaxing the uh, generator too much. 
Um, but it kind of sucks because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it performs better with the additional thrusters and moves around better, and I like it better with the thrusters in there. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it'll blow your generator if you fill it up with storage. Um, so that's a problem. And I don't have a warp drive in here, and I only got the one gun. Um, if I were to add in some other kind of generator in here, even if it's a smaller one, um, I don't have enough CPU left over to put any weapons on it at all. Um, and that's kind of what I ran into. And it's probably because I'm using bigger thrusters on it um, that use a little more CPU. I thought that would be a better bang for the buck. It is running the shield at 4165 again, so that's pretty typical to the other uh, Tier 3 SV miners uh, that we just looked at as well. This one's, again, more thrusty um, and can really move the cargo around pretty good. Um, but, you know, you're sacrificing a warp drive and some other features, and it's got a power problem. Um, so I, I think I just try to go a little bit too much on... Uh, thrusters on it um trying to get into this tier was well, also meant to be unlock level 15 and that's what it is uh but uh i mean i like it but it needs some work um and it's a very typical looking miner too so it's not like like these other ones are pretty pretty cool and exotic this one to me looks like the run-of-the-mill kind of four drill setup uh miner and it, uh, but you know that the thing with it is you know, it, it responds nicely with the thrust uh, setup it has on there, um, even with a full load on it. But um, it's just too much. It's too much thrust, and it's kind of killing the build. And I need too much power uh, where a single 1x3 generator won't cover it. And they're really expensive. There's no way I can add a second one of those in here. Um, even running, like, the crappiest generator you can put in, the 1x1 one one, uh, uh, generator uh, is 5 uh 500 CPU, which is more than I can afford on it. Um, so, yeah, and and I, honestly, and how it sits too, it'll blow the generator if you got a full load and you're flying around and not being safe. If you're if you're flying normal, you'll probably overtax the generator several times. So, yeah, that that's a, a problem. Anyway, okay, now it's time to move on. I just wanted to kind of uh, relay information. I, I, I do intend on doing a video, uh, I don't know, maybe this weekend or or soon on kind of more results in a lot of uh, trial and error with different kinds of creations, um, especially SV miners right now that I've been into a lot. All right, so let's get over to standard reforged Eden for the next build here. It's kind of weird. I hate having to go in and out of so many different games to, uh, to show these, but... Um, again, you're going to get some really wild, wrong stats if I just show everything, say, in Reforge Eden 2 right now. Um, a lot of things won't make any sense, and you might think the creation suck or something like that, but it's uh, now they got to be shown where they're supposed to be shown at. Um, okay, so this one's actually not supposed to be here either. Uh, we'll show this in vanilla. Um, I think this is uh, can be totally uh, cool with Reforge Eden, but it needs an upgrade. But we're going to be looking at this... Uh, Helios Production X module here, um, and this is by, oh no, oh man, my, my, my list doesn't have the author name on it again, gosh darn it, this is by Jay Drafton, <laughs> sorry about that, I, uh, god, I screwed up, I forgot to put the author names on some of these creations on my side list here, but here is a uh, full-blown Helios uh, production module here, and this looks really cool, I like the, uh, kind of industrial look to it it's kind of like um i don't know it looks a little scar but not not full scar so it's kind of like in the in the mix like it's definitely a uh, industrial thing that's been uh in service for a while and been used and uh whatnot and i definitely like the looks of it and things like that uh production x and i think this might have been based off uh, a different module um but it's not that module at all. I love this front end assembly to it too, and this uh, like platform that would come up to the uh, the door um, with the staircases off to the side going up to the uh, the second floor on it. Really cool looking uh, uh, LCD there as well. Production X. I like how that X was done. That's neat. That's that's cool. That's like looks uh, very Photoshop like it rather than uh, your standard LCD there. Um, so anyway, let's. Uh, let's go down this way first so oh yeah check this thing out holy crap this has got a lot of product well it is a production module isn't it so we do have a lot of uh, constructors and storage uh, 
uh, controllers all throughout the area. We do have an elevator going up to the second floor here as well. Um, but oh my god, that's a lot of constructors in here. Yeah. What is that, 10? Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. 12 constructors in this area here. Big ones, too. And we got a teleporter. Oh, how cool. Teleporter, so you can teleport right into it. That could save some time. Like if you're on a Helios or some other module type creation and you want to get here, do some production, you could just uh, teleport there. You don't even have to walk down the hallways. Very cool. That yeah, looks nice too. I like the lighting as well. Uh, let's go upstairs. Oh, so up, upstairs here looks like a lot of uh, storage controllers. And we've got some uh, information here. Oh, it tells you how to uh, set it up for uh, or more upgrade information. And oh, yeah, this was also vanilla compatible as well. Um, I, I'm obviously showing it in Reforged here. Uh, you can convert uh, 22 controllers from 320 to 640. Hmm. That's a that's a cool option here, too. So there's a way to add in some extra uh, extra blocks here to merge controllers together, which is really well thought out design. Um, most probably would prefer the 640s, especially in Reforged Union, but of course you can't do that in vanilla. Um, and we got a gravity generator back over here. Looks like our CPU blocks, some O2 here. This is a non-airtight -air door, so the O2 will flow right out of this room through that door into this area, and also be able to populate the lower area through the uh, the grates here as well, or the elevator. Um, then we got our pilot seat up on the front here. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like the uh, the glass work there. That split kind of uh, X design there, or something like that. That looks uh, really cool. It gives you some good visibility as well. Um, and then here's a way out of here, out to the outside front of the creation, down the staircase. Yeah, very cool, very cool uh, production module here. Um, and I got our front landing gear all set up there. So all that is working out great. Um, curious. Um, well, let's look at some numbers. Let's see what's going on with this. So unlock level 15, size class 2. I appear not to have the thrusters on. Uh, it's not going to have a shield on here. That would be a waste of uh, resources for a, a shield on a non-combat module. Um, just doesn't make any sense at all. So it does not have that, so that's great. Um, 33 forward, 22 strafing, 33 lift, 22 reverse, 9 down. Keep in mind, these numbers here are pretty irrelevant. The only thing it really has to accomplish is to park into a module bay on a spaceship. Um, and once it's there you're probably not going to be moving it around much. Um, if you did, you'd probably have to unload it too because most of these, although the thrust on this one's not so bad either, um, it probably could move around some weight. But uh, it's, you know, really meant to be parked. It does have a couple of sentry guns on here too. So it's kind of interesting. Like, it does have a little bit more thrust than I thought it would. And it's got a, even a couple uh, weapons on here too. So, I don't know, maybe you could use this for some other roles if you wanted to... Uh, have it more standalone too as a production uh, thing not even uh, attached to a helio ship you could probably get away with that uh seven hours and 58 minute build time um yeah needs doesn't need anything too fancy here at all so it's not getting into your uh estrum or zacosium or anything like that cpu wise it's uh pretty not not so bad on cpu um got a quite a lot of uh, extra cpu left over here so you could uh, technically add some higher price things, but I, again, I don't know what if why you'd want to. It pretty much does what it's supposed to do here, um, and then you do have a switch for uh, production as well, which is very nice on there. Let's look at. I'm really curious on the storage. I think we already kind of know the answer to this one though, but let's look at how it's laid out here. So we got an ammo box at 14k. Um, so that'd be a traditional ammo box too, not a controller. Uh, and then we got a main input at 324. And output at 325. Uh, trading exotics. So we got some boxes in here. Uh, and then we got some bigger controllers here. And obviously, um, as it was, uh, you can merge some of these together to make a lot more uh, 640s out of uh, 320s. It does have a quite, man. So it does have a lot of boxes on here, too, I'm seeing beyond the controllers. Oh, and there's the controllers. So, yeah, so we got this whole... Man, there's a lot here. I, I don't even know how to properly calculate how much 
raw storage this actually has on it. There's so many different controllers, but you know, some of these are bigger than what you think they are too. So, yeah, interesting. But uh, the whole sorted out like everything um, on here, and uh, how many controllers does it actually have? Hard to say. Uh, but uh, it was talking about merging a whole bunch of them together to make uh, larger ones. So I believe whatever it does have, you could uh, you can manipulate that a little bit too. Some of these other ones are, are full bone controllers. So like here's another 325 over there uh, and so on. So best I could say is a whole heck of a lot of storage on here. Really, uh, just a lot. It would be a lot of uh, adding things up with a calculator to go through it all. But it's uh, a lot of storage, a lot of production um, and uh, a module and really cool design really cool design on that definitely like it um, all right well anyway let's see uh, is there anything else to look at here on the, the stats or anything like that I think we covered most things uh, just for the heck of it see what the whole material is so it looks like we're, we're running carbon on here too which makes sense um, in fact I think that would be the best best choice for a module that is not in a combat role or landing down on planets or something like that um, yeah carbon would be your best thing so this is a creation uh, I wanted to show next but I want to show it in vanilla because it, it uh, I believe that uh, it's all set up for reforging in as well uh, but it needs additional like CPU core and it added so let me get over to our stock vanilla uh, game here and we'll take a look at the last creation Kind of exciting though. That's uh, been kind of getting that building bug back, and there's so many different things to tackle. But you know, it's going to take a little bit for me to kind of get through a lot of these starter things. Uh, well, anyway, the uh, the next creation here is the uh, Adonia MK4 by uh, Crater Z uh, or, or Crate. Yeah, Crater Z. I think would be how, how the author's name is said. And this one is uh, based upon the Merc MX-5. Um, but this was uh, obviously heavily modified. And here, let me get the, a little bit better lighting going on here. And it uh, really looks cool. I like some of the uh, the, the design changes on from the uh, from the original ship here. And it's set up for a little, bit, little different stuff, too. Um, so we got a couple of extra turrets over here. Cool uh, added wing feature over here. Some of the wings are stock. Like these lower ones but this whole part here is kind of different and uh, this was kind of changed around a little bit over here as well we got a couple of Gatling guns up front there uh, some reverse thrust and some uh, looks like some rocket launchers and uh, yeah cool uh, cool paint job on it too I like the uh, the red uh, there's a couple different shades of red in there and then the uh, this uh, very dark color um, and then we got some uh, like medium gray as well into the uh, the mix. My lighting really seems to suck right now, though. Uh, I guess I can't really do. I I must be too far away from the equator on this uh, over here. And then uh, we got some pretty big meaty thrusters for forward thrust going on in there. And yeah, other than that, looks like yeah, just a kind of a. Uh, I don't know, you know, fair amount of combat stuff on here, you know, with the uh, the four fixed weapons and the two turrets that we're seeing here. So uh, let me get out of God mode. We'll take a walk aboard here. So inside, wow, this is very very different too. It actually it feels bigger or something. I don't know. Um, so we got exterior landing lights. Oh, that's cool. Let's turn that on. Um, wow. So we got our warp drive over here. Constructor on this side. Uh, it looks like a couple basic CPU cores uh, or more. We'll, we'll look at the core configuration in a bit here. Uh, Pentaxa tank, O2 in the back there, uh, ventilator. Uh, we got a pilot seat here, and this obviously goes into the uh, front prefab uh, co cockpit if you just click on that. And uh, it does not, at least I'm not seeing it right now, look like it has a shield on here stock, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if that would be doable at whatever CPU range it's it's uh, set at or set at right now, but maybe it does. Maybe I just, I'm just not seeing it. Uh, we got a fridge over there as well. So yeah, very very cool, very cool. 
And then obviously, uh, yeah, secure, kind of a little bit more secure of a cockpit back over here. And our main core and a couple controllers are right up front. Got a storage controller and ammo controller. And the pilot quarter is obviously right in here, which works out great. There is something I wish I wish the main devs would do. I don't think it's uh, doable in uh, like uh, what's being done with 3.4G and 2. I don't think they have access to do such things. But I would love to see like a P menu option on these prefab cockpits to allow you which way do you want to exit the cockpit. Like maybe maybe it has like a exit from the back, exit from the top, uh, exit from the side, uh, something like that. I think it would be really really nice. Because I personally, I don't think there's any reason why um, you couldn't get out the same way you got in on one of these. But uh, it, the, the game just doesn't let you do it. But it could if it had a, a option, uh, like a P menu option on a cockpit. You could set a setting, and then it would, uh, you know, when you try to get out of the cockpit, rather than me ejecting me out of the ship, I could uh, come back right back into like the internal area over here. I think it would be a really really cool feature. Um, but hey, and it's not the end of the world. I, I suppose we've been uh, dealing with how they work for a very long time already. Uh, but it would be a nice little addition um, uh, if, you know, anybody ever considers that. Uh, anyway, very cool. Let's look at some numbers on this one here. So unlock level 12. A pretty, pretty low unlock level on this. Size class 1. Um, I appear not to have thrusters on. So let me get those cranking on here. Uh, 88 forward, 16 strafing, 58 uh, lift, 32 reverse, 19 down, 4 fuel tanks, 6 oxygen tanks. Uh, we got uh, 2 homing rocket launchers, 2 Gatling guns, and 2 minigun turrets. Hour and 47 minute build time. It's a smidgen of estrum and zacosium, not, not very much. It is uh, saying that it does actually have 2 RCS on this one. Uh, let me look over in devices and confirm that. Uh, we are a core three build, uh, but uh, vanilla core three build. So it's actually running two improved cores on here. Um, that's why I didn't want to show it in Reforging two or Reforged uh, because it would probably charge you and distort all the numbers and things like that. Uh, at least on its current setup there. Um, and it does. Uh, yeah, it does actually have two legit RCS uh, pieces on here. Uh, so that would probably help uh, with the roll y'all in pitch with the RCS in there so yeah those numbers are pretty good on here as well so yeah other than that yeah really really cool uh, it does have a shield I didn't see it 4,000 on shield that is a big question I had obviously it does have the warp drive in there um, right over there but I, I missed the shield when I was walking through here it's probably right over in front of my face somewhere I'm just not seeing it but uh, yeah so it does also have a shield that was a big question it is you know having guns and stuff on it it would be nice to uh, accompany that with a shield and the author thought of that and it does have it just i'm not sure where it's at <laughs> where did the author put the shield it's probably in one of these uh out of the way places here somewhere um it gets tight on these uh builds oh there it is there's the shield oh it was in plain view i just am blind okay that's cool <laughs> it's the way the author did it, they, you know, they, they, you, can't, you know, you got the blue pipe in front of the blue shield. How, how are you supposed to shield the shield behind the blue pipe? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, awesome, awesome creation again here. Uh, this is the uh, Edona uh, MK4 by Crater Z. Or Crate, yeah, no, it does say Crater Z. All right, by Crater Z. So, really, really cool. Love to see all these different builds. And, yeah, nice take on the MX-5 here. Really Really cool. Looks like it would uh, work well in game. It's balanced out really good. Uh, it's got more stuff on it than I thought it would have in it uh, for the uh, the CPU tier range and all that stuff. So very very nice. A uh, good looking ship. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little prejudiced too on that one, but anyway, uh, that is all I've got for today for the uh, the look at the workshop. Um, so hopefully you're you're kind of learning a little bit as I am too going through these uh, these builds and taking a look at a lot of these uh, RE2 creations, especially right now. I'm um, getting to learn what what they're about and how they're how they're working and what you can get away with at different tier ranges and kind of how you know generators are working and shields are working and the CPU of course is uh, balancing out and uh, I again I've been doing lots of trial and error myself and uh, I was kind of impressed by a couple miners that we looked at for re2 today 
uh, where they were getting some more functionality in their creations and what I did on mine um, at the same tier range and relatively same function. Um, so uh, it does look like it is possible to cram in a shield and a warp drive on a uh, tier 3 uh, SV creation, uh, minor creation at that. So it does look like it's possible. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. Other than that, I'll, I might get a video out this weekend as well, showing some more progress in various RE2 projects I've been messing with. So other than that, you all have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.